So it's time I make an online store. Huge thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. And of course you can follow along too by using the link wix.com slash Wix. So come with me and we can create an online store together. And so first things first, we're gonna head on over to wix.com. I'm already signed in, so it goes straight to here. But if you were new, you would go ahead and create a new account. And once you create an account, this will pop up. What kind of website are you creating? If you're just creating an online store, you'll see that it's actually your first option here. But if it's not there, you would just go ahead and put in online store next. And then this is a welcome and all the pros for creating your shop with Wix e-commerce, click next. And you would just follow all the prompts from here on out. Are you currently selling? For me, I'm gonna say I'm ready to start. How many products will you open your online store with? I'm gonna say one to nine. What do you need to run your online store? And then just click on whatever applies to you. How many people will help you manage your online store? I'm gonna say just me. And what do you want to add to your website? And these are just a few options. You've got chat, forms, form, and there's plenty more bookings, events, blog, pricing plans, Insta feed, et cetera, et cetera. So click next once you pick out the ones you want. And how do you want to create your website? We're gonna go with create your website with the editor. So click on edit a template. And then from here, you would choose your site. Simple enough. For me, I'm going to be building in a store to the website I've already created. So I'm gonna click on my sites up here. And this site right here, I did in my past Wix tutorial. You can find it here on my channel on building an art portfolio. So I'm gonna select and edit site. And if you're interested in the tutorial on how I set this all up, I'll have a link down below in the description so you can check it out. And so since I'm adding a store to this site that I've already made, I'm gonna go on the side menu bar over here and I'm gonna click right here on add apps and I'm gonna search for online store. It's actually the first one right there on trending, but I'll just go ahead and type it in anyways. There we go. And I get all these little apps here for online stores. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be going with the Wix stores. And then it just has a little overview and I'm gonna click add to site, adding Wix stores. So now it's just loading everything up at the moment. And you can see it already added a shop to my menu, which is cool that they kind of like just take care of all that. They also added a login bar and cart icon and mini cart. And you can easily customize these. I'm actually gonna go ahead and click on design for this. I'm not a fan of the color, so I'm just gonna change it to a white so that it's better with my overall theme. There we go. And then the cart icon I'll be changing to settings. And then we get to choose an icon over here. So you can change the icon. I kind of like the cart with the number in it. I'm gonna push it over here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm gonna adjust the color. And so once you have this edited to your liking, you'll see that you have all these items listed here. These are just samples. So you can see how the shop looks. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. A little menu pops up, manage products. And then we've got settings. I'm gonna click on manage products. And so this pops up and here are all the sample products that they've listed. Really cool, I don't need them. So I'm gonna select them all, delete and add your first product by clicking new product. My store though is going to be digital, which means I won't be selling physical stuff at the moment as I don't really have physical stuff. So I'm gonna click on digital file and then this all pops up. So what is your product name? So for title name, I'm going to be going with Mabel. And the reason for that is a lot of my product are coloring pages and I'm going to label them according to the name of the character. So for this one, the character is named Mabel. She is my original character. I'm gonna upload the file and you can choose from image, audio file, document, zip file. I've been thinking about doing PDF files. I'm not sure. For right now, I'm gonna do image because it's a high quality, PNG sort of image. And so then it says, start adding your files, just upload your media from your computer. So we're gonna click on upload media, upload from computer. I went ahead and upload all my three pieces because I'm gonna do three listings. So it says three files were uploaded. We're gonna click on lineart01.png, which is Maple, add product. And then we're gonna to go to collections. I'm gonna create a collection and I'm gonna name it coloring pages. Click the check mark and there we go. And so basic info, name is Mabel. You can put a ribbon for whatever you want it to say. You could say new arrival or just new. I'm gonna put new coloring page. That's just to bring attention for things that are new to the shop. Description, I'm just gonna put something like 
Mabel is an original character of mine. Have fun coloring. And you can go ahead and add images of the content. All right, and the image I added was actually of me coloring that same page. And then as you scroll down, you'll see pricing. So I think I'm going to be pricing all my coloring pages at about a dollar. And then you have the option to state if it's on sale and you can show price per unit. And you've got this where you can actually put in like how much it costs to make the item you're selling. And so I can say this product, for example, cost me, let's say 50 cents to make. It didn't, but just to sort of use this calculator, I'm gonna put in 50 cents and it'll let you know that your profit is 50 cents and that your margin percentage is 50%. And then we have inventory and shipping. You can track inventory if you want to. If you wanted to make this a limited item, which is pretty cool, you could put this at, you know, I only wanna sell a hundred digital files and you can do that. You don't have to put in shipping weight because it is a digital file. But for this, I'm not gonna track inventory. I want it to be open to everyone for forever, in a sense. And once you finish all that, you can save if you want to. But I also did want to scroll back up and show one more thing. You'll actually see here on the side, there's a menu called Promote. And you can create coupon, create promo video, send an email campaign, share the product, edit SEO settings, etc. And I wanna create a coupon. I really love this idea, so I'm gonna click on it. And it says, before you promote this product, save the changes you've made. Got it, save and continue. And up pops this new window and it gives you options. You can do a discount coupon, discount percentage off, free shipping, sale price, buy X, get Y free. And for my coupon code, I'm going to put Layla six free. And then I'm gonna have the coupon called six free coloring pages. And basically the offer is buy six, get six free. And so in a way it's pretty much BOGO, buy one, get one free. But I also want to sort of incentivize people. I want them to feel like, you know, oh, but if I buy six, which is $6, I can then get an additional six for free. So really your total per price would come to 50 cents per page, which I think is cooler because they get kind of like their own coloring book, just digitally where they can mix and match what they want to do. And then it asks apply to, and if you do the drop down menu, it'll say all products, specific product, specific collection. So for this, it'll be specific collection. And I have coloring pages already here. So I'm going to click that. And then you can set up your dates. I'm not going to set up a date. I want this to be pretty much an all the time sort of thing. So I'm going to have don't set an end date. And then it asks if you want to limit uses, you can limit the total number of uses for this coupon, or you can limit it to one use per customer. And I'm not gonna select either of those. And I'm gonna create coupon. And so now I'm gonna click save and it takes me right back here. And this is my product. And so more than likely you're going to sell multiple items that are very similar to each other. So if you click right here on the ellipses, it'll say duplicate or delete. We're going to duplicate. And it'll say copy of Mabel, but we're gonna change it. My next piece is going to be Among Us, Mr. Beast, and Pootie Pie. I'm actually not sure if I'll sell this, but this was actually a piece I did a while back when I was really into Among Us, and I did basically a fan art kind of piece. Since it's fan art, I'm not entirely too sure if I'll actually sell it, but I thought it would be cute to have an example of it. I'm gonna take off the new coloring page ribbon just so that you can see what it looks like without it. All right, and I've added my image. Pricing's gonna stay the same. So all I gotta do is click save and there it is, my second piece. And so once you're finished setting up your digital items in your store, it should look something like this more or less and we're going to exit out. And this is how it should look on the shop page. And of course I've got my ribbon there, new coloring page for Mabel and then the two others. And so the next thing we're going to do is payment setup by going over to settings, scrolling down to my dashboard, clicking on that. And this is where you'll end up and you'll see a little exclamation point for the settings right here. So you're gonna wanna click there, scroll down to e-commerce and finance, and you'll see the exclamation point right here. You haven't connected a payment method. Customers will not be able to buy from your store. Definitely wanna fix that. So let's click here. And then I got this little pop-up saying to get the best payment methods for your business, just confirm that your business location is the United States. I can confirm. 
or you could change it to wherever it is that you're personally located by just clicking on it and just changing it to wherever it is that you are currently located. And so I definitely want to accept credit and debit cards with Wix. And now I have online payments for Visa, MasterCard, Amex, UnionPay, JCB, and I also have Apple Pay on, and there's also Wix point of sale. Not gonna do that just yet. If I were going to a convention, I may, but I'm gonna skip that. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And then this is the final step. I just have to complete the setup and it's actually just a form that I fill out and I send to Wix and they'll review it and get back to me for verification. Next thing I wanna do is PayPal. I think these are very important. And then when you click on it, it'll just say, enter your PayPal account email in the form below, click connect, you'll be redirected to PayPal, follow the instructions and click login, et cetera, et cetera. So this is pretty straightforward. You just go ahead, fill that all out, follow the prompts and it'll be connected. So the next thing you wanna do after you get the payments set up is shipping. This would actually be for physical products, but I will at some point be doing physical products, but I wanted to go over it just for those who are doing physical products. So once you click on shipping, it'll already say domestic United States, if that's where you're from international rest of the world. So we're gonna click on edit shipping rule and it'll bring us here. And then it says, select how shipping is calculated. We're gonna click on it. I'm gonna do a flat rate. That seems to be the most popular when it comes to stores in general. And so shipping option name, standard shipping is good. And then you can also put in estimated delivery time. That's optional, you don't have to. And for the flat rate, I'm going to put 4.99. And then you get the option to offer free shipping when a customer buys over a certain amount, which is really cool that you can click this and have this option because it sort of just incentivizes people to want to purchase a certain amount as a lot of people hate paying for shipping. There's some sort of psychology about, you know, the whole $49.99, you know, anything, you know, dot .99. People seem to feel like they're still saving money in a sense. <laughs> And then you have local delivery where you can actually hand deliver to certain areas or local pickup. And so I'm gonna go back to settings, back to e-commerce and finance. And the last thing I'm going to set up is tax. So we're gonna click on it, add country, United States. And of course, if you live in the US, all states have different sales taxes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose Georgia. Just an example, add. And then it just asks you to fill out the tax rate percentage, I think it's 6%. I believe most states are kind of 6%. And we're gonna have that tax on digital items and then just click save. And so you'll see down here tax settings and it'll ask is tax included in the prices of your items and shipping? For me, I'm gonna do no add tax at checkout. That seems to be, in my opinion, the standard. And so then finally go back to settings and you'd be pretty much done at this point. And so that's pretty much it. The last thing you would wanna do if you haven't done it yet would be to go to settings and connect domain. I already have done so with my halalela.com portfolio and I connected this shop to this website. So I don't have to do that. I do wanna see what the mobile version would look like. So by just clicking on the phone icon right here, I can see how it would look on a phone. Do have to adjust some stuff. And then all my product is shown just like that. I'm not too crazy about the setup. No big deal. I can click on it, click settings, and it says choose a layout for your gallery. And if I click on the two column, this looks much better. I feel like you can see just more product at once. And so let me click save. And that's basically it. Short, simple, and to the point. And of course, if you wanna create your own, go ahead and use the link wix.com slash halalelaartwix. And you can follow this tutorial to set it all up. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.